Okay, we're going to solve this equation, and we see that we have a perfect square right here already, right? Namely, we have this 2x minus 5 in the parentheses, and then raised to a second power. And the x is in the parentheses right here. There's no other x outside, right? In this case, we can just try to isolate this part first, and then take the square roots on both sides. It's easier that way, okay? With that being said, take a look of this. This is 8 times this quantity. To get rid of this 8, we can just first divide both sides by 8, okay? So let's do that. And you see we can just get the 2x minus 5 in the parentheses, square. This is by itself now on the left hand side, and 800 divided by 8 is 100. From here, we can now take the square roots on both sides, so that this and that will be cancelled. And be sure, be sure, you have the plus minus on the right hand side. On the left hand side though, we will have 2x minus 5, and that's equal to, this right here is plus minus square root of 100. We can work this out. This is just a nice number, 10. So that means we have 2x minus 5 is equal to plus minus 10. And because we know these are just regular numbers, we can combine them. This is how we are going to do it. I'm going to first write this down, 2x minus 5 equal to positive 10. And the other one is 2x minus 5 equals to negative 10. And this is just a regular equation we can work out, right? So let's continue. We just add 5, cancel this out. This is 2x equals to 15, and then divide both sides by 2. We get the first answer, x is equal to 15 over 2. On the other hand, we do the same thing, but with negative 10 on the right hand side. We still add 5 on both sides. And then this is 2x equal to negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5, and then we just divide both sides by 2. And we are done. x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Two answers right here. 15 over 2 and negative 5 over 2. Then this right here is it.